Hey founders, hope you're doing good. There's a couple of places that I tell all startup founders that you should never skimp. One of those is accounting and the other is legal advice. Well, whenever you're raising a startup round, you're generally going to have a legal agreement between you and the investor. Even if those are family or friends or other co-founders, I highly recommend that you document that agreement legally in a legal form, which means you're going to have to pay for an attorney to draft those documents for you. Now, raising a seed round in particular, or even series A and follow-on rounds can get extremely expensive when it comes to hiring attorneys. As a matter of fact, my research says that if you use an attorney for those documents and that process, on average, it can run you anywhere between forty dollars and $60,000 just to cover that documentation. And that's almost entirely for the attorney. There's some other things that go into that estimation in terms of raising a seed round, but most of it is your legal bills. So the question is today, who foots that bill? Is it the investor or is it the startup themselves? Now, opinions vary on this. There is a camp of people, particularly some investors, who feel like the investor or the investor group, the venture capital firm, that organization that is injecting money into the startup should be the one to foot the bill for the legal expenses. There are some who believe that the startup itself, the startup founders should foot the bill for the legal fees. After all, it's them that are choosing to raise money. So the thought process is because they are the ones wanting to raise money. They're the one pursuing the investor. They should pay those legal fees. So when you get a term sheet, which is basically an offer from an investor about what they're willing to invest and on what terms. That's why it's called a term sheet. When you get a term sheet, you need to watch out for this in that term sheet, in those conditions. Who does it say is going to pay any legal fees? Maybe it's you. Maybe it's the investor. Maybe they're going to split it with you or something like that. So you got to watch out for that in your term sheet. Now, there's a few ways to offset these fees. And it really depends on what stage of startup you're at, but I'm going to share two with you that you can help offset these fees. So one way is just to increase the amount of capital that you're going to raise. So let's say that you're raising half a million dollars in your seed round. If you think and you've talked to an attorney and you believe that your startup fees for the documentation in that process is going to cost you, you know, $50,000. Maybe you go out and you ask for $550,000 so that the net proceeds you'll have to grow your startup with is half a million dollars. Easy math, right? So you could ask for more than you think uh, above and beyond to cover those legal fees. As a matter of fact, side note, it's always good to ask for more than you project you're going to need because usually you'll end up, even if you get a little bit less, it's better than where you started. So Another way to do that is to use templated documents. Now you have to be careful with this. No temp template is perfect. However, because the startup industry is so well known, so advanced, so modern uh, and not new, there are templates out there on the internet that you can Google and find in order to raise a seed round. One of those is gonna be the safe agreement, which many of you have watched my video on safe agreements, simple agreement for future equity. It's one of my most popular videos on YouTube. If you've watched that video, if you haven't, go find that video. I walk you through what a safe agreement is, the short version. It is a convertible note. Uh, and the actual Y Combinator, one of the most popular accelerators, produced a safe agreement. You can actually go to Y Combinator's website and download that agreement. Now, am I saying if you use a templated agreement, even the safe agreement from Y Combinator, that you can avoid attorney fees? Maybe that's up to you to decide. And what I mean by that is you're taking on some risks of not having a ironclad legal agreement with your investor. So even if you use a templated document, I still recommend you hire an attorney to review that templated document and make some agreed upon changes. That should at the very least reduce the amount of cost that you're gonna have when you raise money from an investor. I think the key thing I want you to walk away from today with is just understanding that everything is negotiable. If you're working with an investor, make this part of the questions that you ask when you're getting closer to an agreement. 
So it sounds like you're going to be willing to invest money in our startup. That's wonderful. I'm curious, who's going to pay for the legal fees to get this done? Know up front what you're getting into. Be sure to watch the term sheet if you get one. If you're getting a handshake deal, don't do that. Let's get it in writing, even if it's friends and family. That protects everyone. So understand that everything is negotiable. Opinions vary on this, who should pay, who shouldn't pay. I tend to fall on the side that the investors should pay. But that's easy for me to say because it's not money coming out of my pocket as a startup investor. So just know that opinions vary. You need to have this discussion with your potential investor. What I would also end with is to say to you, don't let a deal fall apart just because of legal fees and an investor saying you're going to have to pay for those. That isn't uncommon. Just work around it. Either increase the amount you're going to ask for before you go to an investor, knowing that you may have to cover those legal fees, or think about using some available templates that are out there and just have an attorney review those. That should be done at a lesser scope than creating brand new documentation for you and keep your costs down. Till next time, hope you find your voice. Have a good day.